Well, welcome back to my let's play of Tomb Raider Chronicles. This is Jamie Clough Gaming, and uh, this is part 13, I believe. And as you may be able to tell, we've moved on to the second level in Ireland, which is called. The labyrinth, or just labyrinth. Um, it's in a church. I don't know what I was doing there, I was just standing there. And there's a puzzle to solve. It's not too difficult. Basically, you just have to press these in the right order. And what you're supposed to do first, however, is activate the cutscene. Ooh, the atmosphere here is just got a little bit better than the previous level. But as a level, I'm not sure what to make of this one either. Oh. <laughs> There's the Grim Reaper. Um, he pops around occasionally, shows us kind of what to do, sort of. <laughs> God. That's pretty spooky. <laughs> well, these side sound effects are just uh, they're pretty much the same as a Colosseum. Slightly different, but uh, it's not a problem. I like the Colosseum sound effects. I thought they were pretty, pretty, pretty good. I thought, I thought yes, I thought. I've got some orange juice now. Because, <coughs> um, it's fresh. And I've clicked on there, which reveals that yes, this level was just called Labyrinth. Like the film. Like the dodgy film from the 80s with David Bowie in it. <laughs> yes. <coughs> this puzzle is very straightforward. It doesn't look to what it is, it really is. There's a puzzle a bit like in Tomb Raider 4, which is a lot more complicated. <clears throat> but this is a very simplistic version of that puzzle, if you like. <clears throat> the mechanics are quite similar, but there's only, instead of looking for several combinations, you're only looking for one. <clears throat> The symbols are a, a vague clue as to what uh, order you push them in. If they didn't have the symbols on, you could literally be doing this for years on end, but. Uh, and then I suddenly clicked, alright, oh, I read something about this. It's a food chain again, isn't it? Got the worms, and that. That on there, I'm not sure what that is actually. The bird's head, and then the man. It's a food chain puzzle. And there you go, you see, it's literally as simple as that. But <clears throat> when you do that, something really terrible happens. <clears throat> you may have. Um, 
unsettled somebody. <laughs> yeah, you unlock loads of uh, unpleasant characters with swords and try and hit you. There's a. I know the shortest route round, which doesn't make it as hard as it is if you took the longer route. There's still not a lot of uh, health off you there. Appearing. And you see, there's loads of them appearing at the same time there. It's mildly challenging. <laughs> But uh, the more you play it, the more you get used to it, I suppose. Right, we saw death in here, the Grim Reaper earlier. He touched this. <clears throat> we might need it. <clears throat> There's that weird music off the pause menu. And of course, we got the bone dust. Not only have we got the bone dust, we got two of them. Which I'm sure isn't supposed to happen either. You're only supposed to get one. <laughs> and I think when you use it, it uses both of them anyway, so it's just like you have one. <laughs> There's no other place to use it, so... Uh, yeah, I don't, I'm not quite sure why that is. Why am I just standing there? This is a louder sound effect. It's a makeup. You see the sound effects in the snowball. Or proper. proper atmospheric. God, I'm still itching all over. This is terrible. Oh my god. But I've got something I should. <clears throat> Perhaps do something to get rid of these guys, maybe. <clears throat> Perhaps if I put the pawn dust there, something will happen. So I'll do that. <clears throat> So I got rid of the skeletons for us. It may have done. <laughs> oh no, I've still got a bone dust. It literally has only one use, so you don't. Despite me having an extra bit of bone dust, I don't need it and it doesn't come in use, so. <laughs> Well, that was pretty much uh, the only use of the boon just there. What the hell's going on up here? Oh, a secret lever. And it literally is a secret lever because it leads to a secret. But, um. <clears throat> I got confused there. There's like a, a monkey swing texture, but there's no actual monkey swing on it. So. A bit like Tomb Raider 3 in that respect. <laughs> Dot do something there. <clears throat> and I hope those people out talking outside do not figure on this recording. I'll be so mad if they do. Um, the sound isn't being done professionally. <gasps> My common reason, rather. And that's the first secret of the labyrinth. Fantastic. The secrets in this level are really easy to get once again, but uh, I'm not complaining because I want to get them, so <laughs> really easy to memorize where they are. Well, my ears are itchy, my head's itchy, my stomach was itchy, my back's itchy, what the hell? What kind of shower gel have I used? It seems to have made me worse than I was. <clears throat> Oh, then I know I still have a burden dust. 
It literally does not come in use again in this level. Mm. It literally does not. Because the rest of this level. Oh. The destroyer. Oh, absolutely. So much for how to use a mini pack. Oh my fucking god. I'm sorry, uh, people are shouting outside. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I do not appreciate that law. To be honest, we get some noisy knobs shout the way through life, and I don't know, I don't know why. I shout when I'm angry, but I don't hang around outside shouting like that. <laughs> and uh, I never have done it, and never will do. And, and, and you can guarantee that that will never happen with me. It's a Grim Reaper. That's where you've got to go. The Grim Reaper goes there first. It's weird that the Grim Reaper would guide, would guide you to go somewhere. It's bizarre, but uh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um. Ooh! I love this song. I mean, track, track. It's a soundtrack. It's not a song, the songs have words. Once again, I'm being a spouse. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I thought the orange juice would perk me up a bit. It hasn't made that much difference, though. <laughs> oh, dear. And here, this part is, uh, a bit perilous. <clears throat> oh no! He's gone the lava, she's dead. But the lava in this level actually goes underneath it instead of just dying on the top of it like the Rome level. So there's really a different texture of lava to the lava in the Rome levels. Which I find interesting. Why am I. Oh, I haven't loaded the game yet. Why am I just standing there? <laughs> My God! <laughs> oh my God! Will you shut the fuck up? Honestly, I should have. I've got double glazing. I should have fucking uh, quadruple glazing at this rate. Cause here, every single sound that's out there. God, I hate. I hate living near a fucking main road, it's so terrible. And then when it's up to somebody out there shouting, there's a car going past and sometimes the, the car's just completely <clears throat> outshine everything else in the recording, they're so bloody loud. Then I got the, the buses going past as well. Oh, this is hilarious, I killed it. I don't think you're supposed to be able to do that. And I did it, so. Well done, me. <laughs> I've never done that before. I've never ever died going through that. I don't think it was possible. I thought you just went through the water every time, but no. I managed to kill it. I believe that's the only time I've ever seen that being done as well. So, I'm special. <clears throat> right. So, I did save getting the secret, which is good. But I didn't save getting the second secret, which is not so good. So I have to get it again, and I have to do all this again. The fuck doing any cuts? I don't like cuts. <laughs> there are no cuts in this LP. There's no. There's been no need to cut. There will be some cuts though. Not in this level. Not in the next few levels, but. After the story's finished, there'll be a lot of cuts. Well, we have to watch this cutscene again. Again. 
Again, 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 again. <sighs> oh my god, this is so depressing. I have to watch on skippable cutscenes repeatedly when you die. But there you go. What it should do is give you the option to skip it a second time. Actually, I like what I did with Legend. They give you the option to skip the cutscene in the pause menu. So you can quickly pause it and skip the cinematic. As it said there. Which I did whenever I died and had to rewatch the cinematic. You skip the cinematic. You've already seen it. And uh, it would have been nice to have something like that in this game. But as I say, it was a bit rushed. So. <laughs> clearly, that wasn't going to happen. I'll just have the X button to skip. Skip the non FMV cutscenes, would that have been so difficult? Probably. Probably. So you can skip the FMV cutscenes, all you need to do is press X and you'll skip the whole the whole dialogue. <clears throat> However, you weren't able to Oh dear God, I've done it again. <laughs> oh my god. Cars are going past. I really, really, I really, really, I really don't like the location of where I'm living. Oh, I just wanted somewhere quiet. I'm not getting what I want, and I don't like that because um, when you have to struggle on like that and leave it outside of main roads, it really is terrible. Because the place I used to live before this was underground, it was near a main road, it didn't get half the sound you do here. It was so much more peaceful and so much quieter as a rule. Now I focus on whatever the fuck it is I want to focus on. Here, that is absolutely not happening, so. <laughs> well, never mind. I could always move on, only oh, right here. Uh, that would take extra expenditure and a lot of extra effort. I'm not down for that currently. <laughs> oh dear, I have to watch it three times. Well, in all honesty, I really should have cut this out. The fact I haven't... is just a unique circumstance. I haven't watched the video back. So I'm just realising now that I probably should have cut this out. But I'm not going to cut it out now. Because I've done the commentary. <laughs> I have to rearrange the commentary and everything. So I'm not going to do that. I'm pretty much not going to do that. Oh, right, yes. And I discovered the reason the comment wasn't coming on the video is because I had to approve it. YouTube actually thought the comment was a spam. But, since the commenter actually watched the video, it wasn't a spam, it was a genuine comment. So that's what I had to do. I had to approve it. And then it shows up. Right. I thought it was a bit strange. That comment. I thought maybe the user may have removed it, but um, oh, why would they remove it so soon after putting it on? If they removed it, I'll let it do it, fair enough, but yes, yes, I have to approve the comment, because obviously this Let's Play is so unpopular that hardly anyone comments on it. You get to comment, oh, that must be spam. You can't legitimately get me getting comments on it. Uh. Hopefully more people will watch it over the years, but to expect a lot of views at this point, knowing how, how many times this game's been done, it's probably not going to happen very quickly, is it? Oh yeah. And I've got the second secret. Um, it seems to have stopped for now, the shouting, but... Uh, Oh my god, I mean, I just couldn't have picked the worst place to live, could I? It would have been better if I just lived underground in a base. Oh, and people say, oh, you're so. the privilege of living in your mother's basement. Well, if I lived in the basement, I could actually get recording done without outside sound coming in. I actually envy those people, to be honest. But this is how, this is how sad my life is, so actually I envy people who live in the basement. Oh my god. Guys, <clears throat> at least you get privacy there. 
privacy. Complete, complete privacy. Yeah. Oh, this is hilarious. This. I fall down in the lava again. <laughs> the design of this level is just completely broken and, and horrible. Oh dear. All I was trying to do is get his secret and go back. Can't even get that done without dying three times. <clears throat> it was a very easy task, but the way it's designed is designed to throw you off. So, at least I saved it after getting the secret this time, so I got the second secret. Which is okay, I suppose. Better than okay. But like I say, all the secrets do is unlock an extra option on the menu when you finish the game, which shows you concept art from both this game and Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness you also get. Um, an FMV sequence, an early one from Angel of Darkness, but they didn't actually end up using that. And for what it's worth, I think that's a really, really promising looking FMV sequence. That they scrapped it because it's got uh, it's got Croft Manor in it, and Angel of Darkness doesn't feature Croft Manor. Anyone who's played it will know this at least. <laughs> Without the last game to feature Croft Manor in the core series was actually Tomb Raider 3. Well, I think the reason that was is because it might have taken a bit too much effort to put it on the newer engine for Tomb Raider 4. Plus, they'd already pretty much expanded the mansion as far as they could, so if they had it on Tomb Raider 4 and Tomb Raider Chronicles, uh, it would have been a nice touch, but it would have been exactly the same as it was on 3. <laughs> Pretty much. Might have had slightly nicer graphics in it, and that's about it. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, people making noise outside the flat. I'm not okay with that. I should hire somebody stand outside. The security guard tell them to clear off. Clear off! Clear off! This is a, this is a private area, you're not allowed here. <laughs> <laughs> Some nut that is doing a Let's Play channel that nobody watches, and he wants his piece. God damn it! God damn it! I love the atmosphere of this, though. But I'm not loving the level design necessarily. So it's a conflict of interest. When when people. Make noise on that side, it's just unnecessary. I mean, it could be drunk gods, drunkards, drunk gods, drunken retards, and, and drunks. It takes, yeah, stay off the alcohol. It's, it's not good. Um, I don't get louder when I'm drunk, it's just, it does the opposite to me. But, um, different people are different. Yes, different people are different, folks. Let's take away from this. Different people are different. Not everyone's different. A lot of people just are the same as everyone else. But uh, different people like to think they're different. <laughs> Look at the shoddy level design here. Right. <clears throat> and this level can get a bit annoying because. Oh, for fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. Why? Why? It can get a bit annoying because it is repetitive. And you can often just be going the same direction. If you're not sure, quite sure where you're going, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. But, but, like I say, the atmosphere and the cutscenes with the Grim Reaper, I'm really liking those as well. So. I think the design of this level could have done with a lot more polish overall though. <laughs> because you can see it's like, it's all over the place really, but that's a common theme with this level set in general. The island levels are just a bit what the fuck, you know, so... Well, it's actually, what were they thinking of when they designed 
these levels because some of it is just outright poor level design. I probably didn't have a lot of time to make it any better though because of the rush nature. I mean, from 1996 to 2000, they bought five games out in five years. That's unprecedented. You wouldn't get that sort of thing happening now. It's leaving a few years between each game is the more approach now. Even as much as five years between titles is the, the done thing now. And if you do that, there's more chance that the game you're developing will be fault free. Um, with a much uh, more coherent product. That said, you got games that are complete mess like Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Oh god, in the Pi TD section. Oh god, I hate this. I absolutely cannot stand that level. They're just, they've made it just so stupid and they've made it too big. There's nothing, there's not much in it though. They've made it so big and confusing. And um, they've put side characters in it, they've put stupid um, side missions in it, and I'm just, I'm just like, this is not the Tomb Raider. This is not what Tomb Raider 2013 was like at all, really. Tomb Raider 2013 was uh, the beginning of the Survivor Laura series, and that, that game was good. Shadow of the Tomb Raider. <sighs> Overblown mess. Great graphics though, <laughs> and some of it is actually quite good, but that said, there's nothing really that I would consider to be classic, if you get my drift. <laughs> um, it ends up just being like, why have they blown it over like this? We should have just kept it a bit more direct like Tomb Raider 2013 was. It still has elements introduced there. But they've just... oh dear. There's so much things wrong with it that it can't be a great game. It could be a possible game. But... <laughs> <sighs> But then there's the fact that there's areas where you have to fight overblown fight sequences with um, with um, Jaguars and stuff. I guess they thought that would be fun, but it's not. Because it, it's a simple it's so badly that, <laughs> that if you don't know what you're doing, you get, get stuck there for several hours, which I did. Because I kept getting killed by the thing and I'm the reload. The only advantage, really, is that with PS4 games, you don't you don't even have to save the game. It saves automatically, auto saves. So when you think of that, you think, given that Spyro did that in 1998, they were really several years ahead of the curve, offering auto saving, because they knew it was the future of gaming. We didn't. We just thought that was a quirk. <clears throat> you don't even have to think to save these days. Which in theory makes modern games a lot easier. It's all about graphics now on anyway, it's not about the challenge really. If they're challenging, the challenging and there you go, you see I've already done this level now. I don't know why some there you go, you see I've already done this thing. Uh, yeah, it really is quite an easy level to do. It doesn't take long at all. However, I've still got one of the secrets to get, haven't I? And there's a sweet spirit thing that appears. We shouldn't be surprised that we're seeing weird things in these levels by now. This level, this level set was like anything goes with it. Anything bizarre and weird. That spirit is just there to guide you. It doesn't really serve much of a purpose. Yeah. 
Not that you actually need a guide. This, even the end, even the bit where that guiding here is very straightforward, and you don't really need to be guided through it, in my opinion. Also, the spirit makes a slightly irritating noise. I think a very high pitched, but, uh, squealing sort of noise. And we could have done without that, to be honest. <laughs> Could have done without these three levels full stop, but uh, in fact, I was thinking of doing a let's play. I did every level set except the island one. Just accept the island one, but I don't know how that would work. You'd have to press a chain to skip the island ones. The people wouldn't, fans of the game would uh, crucify you for that, so um, better not to do that really. Right, that's the final secret. I seem to have a bit of trouble uh, getting it though, Jesus Christ. Oh, je oh, fantastic. And that's coming up to the end of this video, so... Once again, I'll say thank you for joining me. And I'll see you for part... 15. Yeah.